Welcome to The Rundown. It is Wednesday, July 24th, and as always, we are brought to you by Pardon My Cheese Steak. We all know there's no better game day food than a Pardon My Cheese Steak. Big Cat, PFT, and Hank have been hard at work in the kitchen, adding new menu items throughout the summer to prepare for football season. The latest launch is the Buffalo Tender Loaded Fries, which consists of classic chicken strips that are fried, chopped, and then tossed in buffalo sauce. They are then tossed onto fries with cheese sauce, all topped with ranch dressing and chopped pickles. We also just rolled out the new Buffalo Tender Sub, which has already become very popular, but the fan favorite is still the Big Cat Combo, where you get you your cheesesteak of choice, fries, and a drink. For dessert, try the new Donut Dippers, delicious donut holes tossed in cinnamon sugar and served with rich caramel oh, sauce. Those sound that delicious. Sounds I'm so a good. sucker yeah. for anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, and wash it all down with the Max Special, Two sodas. <laughs> Big Cat, PFT, and Hank have been hard in the kitchen. Max has just been eating it all. Or he's just so. been drinking sodas. <laughs> That's a funny special. That is such a good special. So find a Pardon My Cheesesteak near you and order yours now at PardonMyCheesesteak.com or by using the QR code on the screen. Use code PMC20 for 20% off your order. It's great stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of in the mood for a cheesesteak now. Yeah, I mean, I miss them having the cart right outside the office. Yeah. yeah. Pick up a cheesesteak right after work, during work, before work. Was- I got to be honest, Max is the Max special. He got a lot of shit for that. But I recently just went on a long distance plane and I had two sodas and I, I caught myself sneaky farting on the plane. And I just thought to myself, like, that was just ridiculous what Rossini did to him. Plane farts also smell so much worse. Than oh, I, I actually, and- I think it's fake news. Because actually, farting on a plane, they have the ventilation system that sucks the fart out. I don't, it smells nah, worse. Mine, mine, I was smelling them and I was like, if anybody, if any, like, if somebody just knew who I was and smelled, like, sat behind me, I was like, I'm fucked. It's like a hot shower fart. Your farts smell a lot worse than yeah. a hot shower. I, th- I think it may be like to you, but I think it literally, they designed planes to suck the air out. That's oh, why boy. COVID. That's why COVID. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like to start already. <laughs> like, but anyway, um, first topic. I like that we have, we have a frat rundown. All frat yeah. rundown. Three yeah. biggest frat bros at the company. Yeah. Everyone's in a frat. You get thrown in there a lot. New uh, so, E3 football is the same thing. Yeah, technically. So it was WFUV radio. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's actually frat. true. <laughs> I have the best stash on the rundown today, but a new court docs we'll further implicate P. Diddy and Tupac's murder. So we do know who killed Tupac now, and it was probably P. Diddy. Uh, in a 179-page document, allegedly, a 179-page document filed by Las Vegas prosecutors, Diddy's name is mentioned over 70 times in connection with Tupac's murder. Keith D., the man currently charged with Tupac's murder, claims that Diddy was the puppet master pulling the strings of the entire operation. He says Diddy offered him a million dollars to have Tupac killed. Quote, Keith D. alleged that Diddy told a room full of crip gangsters that he wanted them dudes' heads and offered him one million dollars to kill Tupac in Death Row Records' Suge Knight. Shug. Shug Knight in 1995. <laughs> uh, following that, Keith D. allegedly obtained a 40 caliber Glock from a drug dealer named Eric Von Zip Martin and proceeded to shoot Tupac four times. Keith D says Diddy never paid him the bounty, although court documents say it may have been put, paid out to Eric Von Zip Martin. Tough year for Diddy. Nobody's yeah. Nobody's having a worse, a worse hit to their reputation than Diddy this year. You think they're just piling on? They're like, you know, Diddy's about to take the rap. Let's just like throw as yeah. much like crimes on him so we get out of it. It just also sounds like a, like a fake fit. Keith D alleged Diddy told a room full of Crip gangsters that he wants them dudes' heads that sh- and offered him $1 million. That sounds like somebody who's going to also like make up a story. That's yeah. the right I also there. think a million dollars is kind of a low ball. It's- to kill Tupac? Yeah. That should be like $10 well, million. Yes. Inflation. Reverse inflation. Yeah, but still. How much do you think your head's worth? Oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if, if Tupac's $1 million. Yeah, 95. I mean, yeah, maybe inflation, that's like, what, $4 million now? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I mean. That's a wild it's guess. It's definitely enough. I mean, for and let, let I'm assuming that these people's all probably have had a couple bodies before. So, like, another one probably doesn't weigh on their Yeah, conscience. but Tupac? Tupac he was like one like of the guys, biggest, yeah. f- five okay. biggest celebrities in the world. Probably. He may yeah. have been a CIA plant. Oh, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Look up the picture of Tupac being interviewed as a ballerina. This dude was in a theater school. Like he may have been a plant. An industry, like he was the first ever industry. Yeah, plant. like like. 
Dude, like, look, they think there's like a theory that he got pulled out because he was an actor and they were able to like use him to play this part um, and like play into it's weird. What would their motive have been? Their motive would have been to like promote gang violence. The what if CIA he's a rapper that liked to do violence? ballet? Yeah, to like say again. He was like a singer and a rapper. Him doing ballet is it the craziest thing? I don't know, but just in this video, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter saying Tupac was a plant. Oh, well then, yeah, it's probably. I right. actually it, saw this about P Diddy. Did you guys see how people are trying to implicate him in Biggie's death? Allegedly. Wait, P. Diddy killed Biggie and Tupac? Yes. I saw the Biggie, Biggie P. Diddy controversy and like that's why he like made the song like I'll be missing you and like Biggie's family like is upset about it because he's been making royalties off it. Huh. So P. Diddy just killing killing all the big rappers. I also like watch like one TikTok and I'm like, this yeah. is fact. Yeah. I mean, as people who probably know nothing about that whole scene, uh, we're getting influenced. We're getting influenced. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty it's, bad. It's like, actually like a meme. It's like, yeah, it's like, like, yeah. We are the YouTube who, channel. Who, who killed you? <laughs> <laughs> the CIA, they had to destroy their asset. Yeah. Was, they were just promoting gang violence, so I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. So that Trump and Bryson. So funny played. how we started off with this one. <laughs> so yeah. hey, hey, something we're a little something more qualified. Little more speed. <laughs> yeah, we should have opened up to this. Yeah. Yeah. Trump and Bryson played golf together. <laughs> uh, Bryson DeChambeau, uh, and apparently Trump likes to listen to music while he plays golf. He's also. I watched this full fifty-six minute video last night. First of all, I thought it'd be impossible. Like, so the challenge is they try to break fifty. Yeah. On 18 holes, a par 72, but it's a scramble. Still, like, that still seems, I know Bryson's a pro golfer, still seems like even if it was Bryson and Tiger Woods, it'd be incredibly difficult. Right. Spoiler alert, him and Trump shot a 50 flat. Like, it was, Trump was an incredible golfer. Like, and DeChambeau was routinely hitting, like, par, or was hitting, like, uh, eagles on a par four. It was yeah. insane. I mean, they're playing from the Reds, but still. Oh, so that's... The they're playing from the Reds. Yeah, like the closest to the hole. It was, okay. and honestly, like some people on Twitter were having like a field day, which I like, just found hilarious. They're like, you know, for somebody that plays golf a lot, he's not that good. While well, he's 78 years old, absolutely yeah. striping them. Yeah, no, he, he has a like weird, um, weird motion, like his drive and his putting form, where it's kind of weird, but it was incredibly effective. Yes, he just and it's like tied for the best Shambles done with anyone, and he played with like other pro golfers. Did you see that you needed like? An, is that the one where they needed an eagle on 18? And yeah, Trump, yeah. Trump just yeah. nailed it. <laughs> what a beast. Uh, I mean, yeah, he putts weird. He, he kind of has a weird, but he gets it done. But I do think Dave tweeted it too. Weird like, stroke game? Unorthodox. Stormy would agree. If they did the Trump Biden, maybe maybe Biden saw a sneak cut of this video and that's why he dropped out of the race. He was like, fuck, we can't have the golf match. <laughs> like, Trump's going to beat me by. He might actually beat him by like 75 strokes. Uh, this was done before he got shot, too. So a lot of people online were like, look, his ear is like fine, but like it was filmed before he got shot. Yeah. Just laying out the facts. <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna say, I was like, okay, thank you, Billy. <laughs> Our next sponsor, Stella Blue Coffee. Hey, coffee lovers, this summer, Stella Blue Coffee is bringing you the perfect way to beat the heat with two brand new limited edition cold brew flavors blueberry muffin and cinnamon sugar donut. Stella Blue Coffee teamed up with foreplay to bring you the delicious new blueberry muffin cold brew. Bursting with notes of fresh blueberries and brown pastry sugar, it's nothing like you've tasted before. You'll be dialed in and ready to go low as soon as you take that first sip. Our cinnamon sugar donut cold brew is another instant classic. Turns out donuts pair pretty well with delicious coffee. So whether you're lounging by the pool or standing on the first tea box, Stella Blue's coffee's new summer flavors have arrived to rescue you from the dog days of summer. And remember, Every bag of Stella Blue Coffee helps save homeless pets. So treat yourself this summer. Visit StellaBlueCoffee.com or use the QR code on the screen to grab your limited edition bags of blueberry muffin and cinnamon sugar donut flavored cold brew today. Use a one-time promo code RUNDOWN for 20% off any order of $25 or more on StellaBlueCoffee.com. And for our next story, uh, the world might be blowing up. America might blow up. The Yellowstone National Park volcano is one of the largest active volcanoes in the world. And uh, experts have said if it goes, then humanity is gone. 
and there was a small explosion at the Black Diamond Pool at Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin, uh, which violently erupted. And uh, it's got everyone scared because, you know, there's a small explosion by a really big bad explosion. So I don't know the exact science behind it, but shit's popping off at Yellowstone. This seems like this should be a way bigger story. I totally agree. I, I actually thought that Yellowstone for a while would be way more relevant in my life. Like, have you I, been? I went. I visited. I have. I have. And also Great just place. like, I thought I'd like, you know the map when you're in sixth grade and you're learning about Yellowstone? It's like, this yeah. area, you're screwed. We're fine, right? If it blows, we're fine. No, no, we're fucked. We're fucked. It's it's gonna cause basically like nuclear winter from yeah, like, oh, like the right, volcanic. Right. Like, I don't think the lava would. Yes, us, yes, no, no. yes. But the, the implications ash. would. Yes, okay. The ash would cover the earth, and then the sun wouldn't be able to get to the earth, and then it would get so cold, and we would be, the survivors would be like cavemen, but there's no mammoths to hunt, so we'd be fucked. But. The good news is, is that this thing's been popping off. Like it's just letting off a little steam. That's why it blew. Like sometimes when you're walking around New York City, and like they're letting open like one of those uh, manholes, and the steam's coming yeah. out. Like they're just doing that. Like the whole thing's not gonna blow up. Just I don't. They, but what if? I don't what think if that happened? What? People were running for their lives. No, was, the people were like watching this and had to run. Like somebody left their grandma <laughs> to run away from her, and she came back yeah. with like molten on her face. It, it popped off, but like on the scale of things, it was a small popped off. Basically, yeah, but could it I, mean the bigger ones coming? Right. Well, it, it's letting off a little pressure, and it's done now. So if there's more pressure, it'd still be blowing. You know. You you it's just it water. Is, you're saying this confidently, and I don't know if it's true. No, it is. It, it's water. So like the biscuit basin erupted. So like, do you know how geysers work? No, Old Faithful, I know. Yeah, so basically what happened is a pool turned into Old Faithful uh, randomly because the pressure got so built up over such a long time that the pool popped off instead of like Old Faithful that's popping off all the time because there's more pressure. So just like... So how concerned should we be that a super volcano is going to knock out you? No, I was just being, I was being says, dramatic. I was being dramatic to set up the story. Uh, it's just popping off a little. Okay. I don't care what Billy says. I'm worried. I'll be losing sleep about this. No, it's just water. You're just boiling water. Yellowstone might be my biggest fear in life. It is. It's, the it's kill probably switch. my number one concern that, like, if Yellowstone pops, what do I do? That's your number one concern. I, think, I, I, I think everybody should have a plan for when Yellowstone blows. It's def. It's actually it worse does. than nuclear war. Like, <laughs> if, why? Because like, it's actually everyone's fucked. Like nukes, like you might be living somewhere remote and like there is radiation, but like this is like the whole world's gonna freeze. So do you think China's behind it? <laughs> <laughs> do you think Dude, China's yeah. gonna set off the super No, because really they know. would be screwed too. It's it's just assured destruction, not even mutual. Uh, next story, Terrell Davis versus United Airlines. Uh, last week, Terrell Davis was taken off a United Airlines flight in handcuffs by the FBI after an alleged altercation with a male flight attendant, according to Terrell Davis. As the attendant was wheeling his cart by, Davis tapped him on the shoulder to get his attention. The flight attendant whipped around and shouted, don't hit me, and ran to the front of the plane. When the plane landed, they told everyone to remain seated as the FBI agent boarded the plane to take Terrell Davis off in handcuffs. Yesterday, a video of Terrell Davis being removed from the plane was released by his attorneys. Davis appeared to be calm and fully cooperating. There's still no footage of the actual incident, but Davis claims he did nothing wrong. Why is there not surveillance cameras on planes? Why isn't there Good surveillance? Question. There's, there's, there should be surveillance cameras everywhere. Oh, I don't George get George Orwell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but planes, I actually think that. Planes, no, I, planes, I agree. agree. Yeah. Planes, I agree. Yes. Like I don't yeah. get how no, nobody caught this. But also, I'll defend T. Davis really quick. Like he, he was a NFL running back if he yeah. tapped me on the shoulder I, I would maybe think that he was hitting me like maybe his he's just like doesn't even know how yeah. strong there's he is. no way he was probably a tap that was like yeah flight attendants fucking suck yeah. like they're, they're in the group of people that are like think they're way more important than they are like bouncers same like flight attendants like they just can decide to, oh this person's getting kicked off the plane like the people at the gate they they fucking suck. I, I I know who this male flight attendant is, 
and like I, I've dealt with him before. Yeah, yeah. The worst type. You just are assuming. Oh, the, you know. No, yeah. I just I have I have an image in my right. Head. You don't know the specific guy. No, I don't know. Yeah, him, yeah, yeah. But I know okay. I know the general like like kind of what you said. Someone who thinks they're more important than they are. Yeah. Cut, like cuts no, you off from the drink cart like way. Pretty an pretty asshole right. when he tells you like to put up your seat because he's got like that one inch is gonna make you die like that yeah. guy. I mean, in unless Davis is trying to get away with doing something actually terrible, I I don't see how he's not in the wrong. You know. Like, unless he literally did hit him and the FBI had to be called. Somebody would have said that, though. Yeah. Right? Like, he also, like, the fact that he walked off calmly. Also, like, it's better that it's a male flight attendant than a woman because then you have, you know, that angle. Yeah, like, for sure. It, I think this literally just probably got hit a little too hard and this flight attendant was having a bad... Flight attendants treat plane passengers like they're an inconvenience to them. <laughs> like cattle. <laughs> yeah. They treat yes. them like cattle. Yes. Like, oh, you just yeah. had to get on this fucking plane, huh? Yeah. Well, Condescending. Condescending pricks. They do I've get overworked. In, the Midwest. in a way. What? Because they get on these, lo- they're like sometimes like away from home for like, just, just vouching for flight attendants. They have like huge shifts. So they're like in the air sometimes for like 24 hours, just going flight to flight to flight to flight. Till they I don't finally think get that, I think they have like a limit of they how have long a limit. they can be in a row. That's sometimes why flight delays happen because the crew's been acting yeah. too long. Yeah. But, you know, I could see why they're so pissy all the time. Like, Airports then, and you know what you signed up for. Yeah, yeah. it is airport, airports, airplanes in general. The default mood is always anger. The one like thing you're just looking for. I always wondered angry. this: the person that works at the Dunkin' Donuts in the airport. Why do you choose that Dunkin' Donuts in the airport? Like you're just gonna deal with angrier people with yeah. delays and everything. You're gonna go through TSA every right. day. Right. How does security I mean, they probably work? Just, I, just where they could get a job? Yeah. I, I was wondering if it was also like, do you get like a pay? Like it's like, all right, you can transfer from this Dunkin' to this Dunkin' for like a pay raise. Where do all those employees park? Probably long-term parking, and they probably could just like show a pass, being like, "Hey, I work at the Dunkin' Donuts." And going through security every day has got to suck. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I always wondered if they have TSA pre or clear. How they many always like, like usually like, skip the line. They're not like waiting on a long line. Have you seen someone walk in? I've never caught someone. Yeah, 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 I've seen them like. That's awesome. In. They like get ushered to the front of the line. More shocking than not having video, by the way, is how nobody has said anything. There was someone in front of him who he claims vouch said that they would vouch for him. But why is the FBI involved? I thought, wouldn't it just be local cops? I think it has to be FBI on a plane, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it is it like international waters, but like Something national like that, skies? Yeah. There clearly wasn't a marshal on his plane. Yeah. That's crazy. We don't talk enough about air marshals. I never, I was thinking about that. I never think of like, who is the air marshal on this plane? Yeah. I don't know if they're on 100% of flights. Oh, they, there's... I've spotted one, not because they were chatting with the crew in the back and like being very like cordial, like he's known the crew before. Gotcha. And then I was like, where's the gun? I wonder what the percentage is. Which one do they decide? They're, they- allowed, they're allowed to watch movies, read books. They should not be allowed to nap. I agree. <laughs> they should not I agree. be allowed to nap. I'm uh, fine with it. Well, maybe the crew's in charge of like waking them up. Yeah, they're allowed to take breaks to nap. You should. What the hell are you on the plane for then? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if you see someone get like a second free drink on like a two-hour flight, that's a like dead giveaway that that's. They're allowed to drink. They're allowed to drink on the yeah, job. No, it doesn't say. Dude, a drunk air marshal. A drunk and napping air marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Desk pop. <laughs> they are not allowed to. Drink okay. All right. Um, uh, but. They probably put the air marshals on flights where they have like someone at risk on like some list. You know what I'm saying? They're all random. I think then that person just shouldn't be on the flight. Well, <laughs> I mean, they like don't have enough evidence, but they're like, yeah, yeah we're, we're highlighting this flight. There's three people who are. I'm, I'm uh, going on a flight in a couple hours. I'm going to try to convince my plane I'm the air marshal. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually very funny. Yeah. <laughs> just get a cell phone belt strap. Yeah. And then just like hide it under a long shirt and just always yeah, grab it marshal. all the time. Make a fake air marshal. Trying to get ID. someone to get yeah. Yeah. a fake air marshal ID and just drop it in the eye. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's my air marshal ID. <laughs> Keep this between us. <laughs> uh, next up, we had pandemonium at the beginning of the Olympics, uh, <laughs> Olympic soccer. Morocco soccer fans stormed the field. They lit off firecrackers and threw bottles at Argentinian players. And the craziest part was. You know, let's just set it up. In the final minute of extra time, Argentina scored the tying goal, completing a late two-goal comeback to tie Morocco 2-2. The refs then gave 15 minutes of extra time, citing that Morocco was wasting time in the second half. 
Argentina's final goal was scored in the 16th minute of extra time, even though there was only 15 minutes that were added. And Morocco fans immediately stormed the field, threw bottles at the Argentinian players, and lit off fireworks. The fuck did they get the fire crack? They always stay strapped in Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, like, literally, if you look at European soccer, they're always lighting off, like, flares. Yeah. Like, it's not just yeah. Morocco. It's more like Europe. That maybe shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. Have it uh, everywhere. It's insane. Now, this is the craziest part. Two hours later, VAR disallowed Argentina's goal, and then they had to bring the players back onto the field after they'd been attacked by the Moroccans <laughs> and put three minutes on the clock and played in front of an empty stadium. Uh, Morocco ended up winning, and they rioted basically for nothing. So, wild uh, People team. got to calm down with soccer. They've got to calm down. I don't think There's nothing is- more corrupt than soccer refereeing. It, it's, the fact that they brought them back after two hours is the most shocking thing in yeah. soccer refereeing history because they're the most yeah. stubborn, I'd say, officials in, in the world. It sets a pretty funny precedent that like, if you lose a game, you can just like sit around hoping <laughs> yeah. for a couple hours. Yeah. Like, well, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I guess well, they didn't they, go, did they like go home? Were they going? <laughs> yeah, there were no fans left. It was in front of an empty. I would you know have I'm saying, like, did the play, I guess the players were still just they hanging around. Stadium. I don't know. I would have to imagine that like, one one of those players like cracked open like a high noon or a chorus light or something like I, like sure, just yeah. like just to like celebrate of some sort. I mean, do you think were they rioting for two hours? Maybe to clear like, everything off. Yeah, that's got to suck. Um, Going back out to that stinks. And, and I, I can't get over John Rich's find on Twitter today about yes. the U.S. One of the crazy men's things. Olympic soccer best finish ever was 1904, so where they got crazy. silver medal. Where there were only three teams and the U.S. had two of the three teams. Yeah. Wait, so, so they did as poorly as they could have possibly done. How did they not have a bronze medal then? Well, well they, that was they the, do. They that was the best, best finish. finish. Silver. Okay. They yeah. give us like Nothing we have. You. Yeah. <laughs> we officially won two soccer medals, and like they count toward our medal count for that tournament. And those are the only two ever. Only two ever. That's great. <laughs> That's insane. That's, so 1896 was the first Olympics. And then 1900, then 1904, and that was the first one in the United States, and no one wanted to go to the United States. Yeah, it was in St. Louis during the World's Fair. They wanted to do, like, a World Fair Olympic thing. There was a war going on, like the Russo. Oh, the Russo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then also people in Europe were just like, we don't want to go to fucking St. Louis. It takes forever to get there. It's really expensive. So basically just nobody showed up. We had – hold up, let me find the – we find the stat. We had a That's crazy, a crazy amount of Olympians, like compared to the other teams. That's crazy. Where was the Olympics in 1896 and 900? Athens. Both were in Greece. Uh, the second one was not. So we had in 1904, we had 523 of the 630 athletes <laughs> were American. And we won 239 of the 200. <laughs> that's like, that's some North Korea shit. Oh, wait, no. yeah. So we, yeah. we had, we, we, Canada won gold that year? Yeah, like a club team from Ontario. See, like, why didn't we send, like, an Ivy out there? Like, I can't believe that the best people we have were Christian Brothers College. Like, why can't you send Harvard or Princeton? I feel like they'd have a good soccer team. And our, They didn't want to go to St. Louis. Both those schools, I think, are in Missouri. Probably. St. Louis Parish and Christian Brothers College. I mean, I, I'm not going to fact check it, but I, I'd bet my, like, I bet my buck that year, right? Was the Ivy League good at soccer back then? I don't know. You just have to imagine that, like, I just—they got to be better than those schools. I just have to imagine that back then, elite yeah. athletes came from the Ivies. Yeah, but I also mean, football kind of team, like football, American football. Yeah. Well, University of Chicago literally was the Alabama of the 1930s, until fucking Oppenheimer took away their field to do nukes. Fucking Oppenheimer, worst thing he ever did, yeah. dude. But like, think about it. We we exchanged the Alabama of that time period or Georgia now for uh, nukes to win World War II. So, like, it's a huge sacrifice. I still think it's bad. Like, I know you're like, oh, Georgia, but, like, if, if you – I bet if you, like, asked 100 Americans what's the football powerhouse, people still say Alabama. Yeah. Georgia yeah. Georgia hasn't wiped no. the memory of Bama and Saban away no. just yet. Like, people still say the Patriots are the best dynasty, but it's like, is it the, like, is it the Chiefs now? 
I think people mm. because actually the Chiefs. Have I think people would still think Patriots. Patriots, yeah. Patriots did yeah. it for twenty years. Yeah. yeah, if you were just like name a fo- name an NFL dynasty, people would say the Patriots. He said name a quarterback, people would probably say Tom Brady. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, Mahomes is probably how he's many, one. Like, he's more. one away. He's one away from it being like Mahomes. I don't, yeah, it's that, but it's also just like playing for more years too. For sure. Yeah. How many does Brady have? Seven. seven. Six with the path. Pass. Yeah, and Mahomes has three. Three. Yeah, he need, he needs a couple more, and Georgia needs more dominating recruiting classes. Um, oh, this is one thing. USA men's soccer in the Olympics for the first time since two thousand eight. The boys over there were talking like the corner, like the social guys, um, and they were like, "Wow, like the USA soccer team. Like, I don't know anybody on this team. Like, they're really bad." It's like no shit. Like, yeah. It's U twenty three. Like, what? We're not gonna win gold. Like breaking breaking news. I oh, you know what? I'm gonna throw out a bold prediction. USA soccer is gonna medal this year. I actually, I. So What's the? I think there's, there's so still- much shit talking about the U.S. soccer right now because of the, whatever the fucking cup a few weeks ago and everything like. And this is this is U23, so it's not yeah. like the players that were. It could on be this like team. a miracle type. Yeah, story. like and then it's just gonna add more drama, being like th- these are the guys that yeah. were sent to the World Cup. We have the fifth best odds. Huh? That's, that's not terrible. how many teams. That's are for in a it. gold medal. Yeah, yeah, six. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like twenty ish. Really. And this is Olympic soccer, which isn't the best of the best, like World Cup, and isn't. Are they amateurs? Correct. It's U23, yeah. Okay. I mean, you could be U23 and be a pro. Yeah. Right. I would just imagine that one, either you, Billy's right, you have to be an amateur, or two, they're just like, I'm playing for the World Cup. Why would I play for the Olympics? Right. Like, yeah. I just got done playing Copa and everything. I can't qualify for 16. the Olympics. That makes 16, me old. 16 teams? All right. For the, so for the right, soccer Olympics. A little above yeah. the middle. Yeah. But like, technically. You know flag football is going to be in the Olympics? Yeah. Yeah. The USA Olympics. Did you watch any of that NFL flag football tournament they were doing? No. It was no, actually I, pretty I cool. That. It was actually pretty cool. It wasn't like adults. It was like middle school and like junior high kids. Oh, we yeah, should like throw out our best. Like yes. any Tyree kill there yeah. or Justin Jaffa. Like we, we should just throw out our best. I don't. I think I Tom think Brady should be the best. backup quarterback. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're going to do, but, like, honestly, it was really entertaining to watch because it was the Olympic uh, style that they were going to do, and it was just tons of dimes and just great passing. I wonder if there's somebody out there that's a fantastic flag football player that just can't, not good enough for the NFL. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I, probably. I, could, I would imagine that there's, like, some D3 stud out there that was just, like, oh, yeah. like I'm just so like good. super skinny and fast. Super skinny, fast, like, just wasn't big enough to make the NFL, and he's just the best flag football player. Like, even Someone Tyree really Kill, did you see him get cooked by that, like, 16-year-old girl who was, like, a really good flag football player at, like, yeah. his camp? That guy gets cooked, like, one too many times on Twitter. Yeah. But do you think he's trying? He tries more than the average person. I think so. There's too. more opportunities for him to get cooked. That's a good. That's a good rebuttal. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that. What is this? These are the flag football world rankings. Oh, yeah. nice. Good Mexico. for Mexico. Yeah. You got Austria, Mexico, Japan, Great Britain, Austria, Spain, Panama, Germany, Canada, Australia. I'm disappointed you, in Australia. Yeah, you I was think to say that? I think they should be higher. Japan. I mean, the, in this same. This is just the flag international, but the tackle. International, and I think it's the same uh, federation. Uh, I mean, when USA was just losing to like all of our World War II adversaries, it was just dem- like getting demolished by like Austria, Japan. Like, that you was should terrible. play. You should like instead of doing handball, was, you should try out and see if you can make make, make the flag team. No, no, the tackle team. Yeah, well, apparently those were all U eighteen or U nineteen, like, and it was pay to play, and that's the problem with the USA program. There's so many people who could play. They basically just couldn't get any college players who were like going into college to play. So they just let anyone who made all state and could pay for it. They made the team. So you you couldn't play. Uh, I'm too old now. Oh damn. That would you be should. Sick, you, you're gonna try to get in the Olympics for 2028 though. I I could coach the Ugandan flag team if they win uh, the Africa Bowl. I, 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 you'll definitely be just involved in the Olympics somehow. I feel pretty confident saying. I, I somehow seems Jake like the Malisek, next natural step. Jake Malisek's going to be in the Olympics in 2000. Yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping for like some young buck coming up to take over his goalie spot because that would be hilarious. He's been locking in this 2028 Olympics bid for way too long. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got way too much time on. Is he? Is he like practicing? Yeah. Well, he does the 
on the act. They he's a soccer yeah, goalie. Yeah, yeah. He sees shots. He sees shots. They have like some like games like every like two years or something. But yeah, I mean, hopefully he locks that in. Anything else we're thinking about talking about? Yeah, my mustache is way better than yours. Uh, let's put up a poll. I mean, it's just like I mean, I, look at me, Billy. I mean, they are almost exactly the same. Look, <laughs> it's, it's, but look. I think I might go with Dukes. Because I look like I'm a walking IPA right now. I like, think his is well, you know what? a little neater, your, maybe. Your outfit is like exacerbating your mustache. I, I, came, to, I came to work today. Wore my polo. Oh, th- thanks for showing up to work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> I'll throw out a rundown mustache poll. The mustache with... The great with the dead and yeah, cow shirt. I, th- I think we need close <laughs> with the Viva La Stool shorts. Can we do close ups? Just like close ups of we'll just stash? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just shaved this morning, otherwise I'd be in the room. I know. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that when they set us there. I was like, did yeah. we have one yesterday? Because we talked about like how you don't notice anybody with like facial hair. Yeah, yeah. I usually have a beard, but I shaved. Yeah. That's what I did. This was very spontaneous at the gym. You just did it today. This has been like I did this last night. two weeks for me. All right, congrats. Do you want to win? I'm just like, like, you can't just show, you knew I was coming on with the mustache today. I can't I believe you just shaved the mustache. I haven't seen you in like two weeks. <sighs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Subscribe to Audio Crack. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> <laughs>